Okay, I'm at 1102 Meadowcrest Drive in Valrico. Four bedrooms, two baths with a private pool. 1887 heated square feet. And an under roof is uh, 2885. Located on a little more than a third of an acre. No HOAs. First thing I noticed about this property is the massive oaks. They're beautiful. This one's a little close to the house. You got two over there. Not as bad, but massive. This branch, this one branch, I guess these two branches are going over the house. You can even make an argument that this third one is. But it is throwing a lot of uh, like moss and stuff. The exterior of the house looks good. I mean, I don't see any cracking. It looks like it's recently been painted. Looks really good, but it does have the ongoing upkeep from the moss. Even those branches are hanging over, so. I don't know if you can get rid of all the branches without killing these trees. There's just a lot hanging over the house. Even this one's hanging over this side. They're beautiful. It's, it's an upkeep. All right, so. This house was built in 1972. It's been very, very uh, updated. So the way this house was designed with floor plan, basically this is your formal uh, living area and then formal dining to the front of the house. You could knock down this wall and make it like super wide open. And then this is your family room. <coughs> Excuse me. So you do have granite. They got rid of this uh, sort of this sunken ceiling and they put this light in. So it probably had the the uh, glass or whatever going across probably at one point. So it's definitely had some updates uh, since it was built, but just seeing if it has the soft close, not really. No backsplash. So you have like a nook right here. Small little patio. This house definitely has a strong smell of paint. Um, you know, they've definitely have recently updated the house, so it still smells of, of uh, renovation. So your laundry room is in the, in the uh, garage. Hot water heater looks good. Block wall. So everything looks pretty clean. And access to, doesn't look like it has the pull down ladder though. So being that it's an older house, um, it's not a split floor plan. All the rooms are on one side. So we'll take a peek here. Here's your pool. So you have a coat closet. Well. I guess a closet of some sorts. Maybe this would be your coat closet here. So two small little closets there. And then you have a little hallway closet. Older homes, the biggest thing you lose is uh, small, usually they have small bathrooms and small closets. It's kind of the way. They made them back then. So we have two rooms here. Another little hallway closet. There's several of them. Pretty small room. I'm guessing 10 by 11 maybe. Typical secondary closet. It does have a ceiling fan. The ceilings look good. I'm expecting this house to be in good shape through and through. I mean, it just seems like they've done all the renovating. It's just a question of whether you like the layout. And, and the space and the club and stuff like that. But I think it's all in pretty move-in ready condition. Has the low uh, windows. So we've seen these two rooms here. 
This is a 4-2, so this is, other than the master, this is the other uh, bathroom. Looks like a ceramic tile. And they have the matching granite they do in the, um, the kitchen. And then they have, here, the tub and toilet. So here's your third bedroom. Might be a tad bit bigger than the other one, the other two. I think all the carpet's fresh. Kind of smells like that. Uh, this is a laminate floor. So it has tile, laminate, and, uh, and carpet. So this is your master. It has uh, a shallow closet that goes all the way to the the end. So it's cubic feet wise, it's 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 not bad. It's just it's narrow or shallow, I should say. It's just so it's wide. And then your master, this is uh, let's see, let's the lights. There we go. So. It's all the matching cabinetry of the kitchen, so they renovated everything. Same tile work as the other bathroom, so everything's in unison. It's just uh, smaller than you get with newer homes. There's your thermostat. Um, I know they've done, they've done a lot of renovations to this house, and I could uh, pull that up and send you those things if, if it's a house of interest. Let me show you the backyard. That's a little safety thing here. So a pretty good sized backyard. Like I said, it's more than a third of an acre. It's not a screened in pool. So as a result, it gets dirty much quicker. I used to have one myself, so. You can see how quickly the stuff can accumulate. Especially when you have the trees right above. So if I bought this house, I would definitely cage this or put some type of a big cover over it when it's not in use just so that the upkeep is not so tremendous. But that's just me. On the flip side, pools generally tend to be warmer if you don't have a screen. So I'm just giving you another view of the roof. Um, I'd have to check to see the age of the roof, but like I said, regardless, you'd want to get that stuff off the roof pretty regularly or trim back all these trees. Doesn't seem like too crazy a roof to, to get on. Although there's always risks when you get on a roof. So this fence right here is probably this properties. You're supposed to show the inside of the fence if it's yours. Some people don't. But, but anyway, you have a, a chain link here, a chain link here, and then you have wood over there. So this is your pool equipment and your AC. AC looks great. I say it's a brand new unit. So that's that's definitely good. You don't have a pool heater; it's just a basic pool equipment. Once again, the exterior looks really good. I mean, no cracking, even with these massive trees. They look all right. Honestly, if it wasn't for the trees, I think this might be sold. I mean, it's got some nice things to it. Although I do know some people that love the trees. They love how majestic they are. It's just they come with upkeep and responsibility. 
And then you have uh, this concrete slab. You can even uh, do concrete um, stamping or you can do pavers. You can make this nice, you can add on. It's actually a really good size lot. So you can, you can extend onto this patio and bring it out to this one. All types of things. No, no, no problem with the land as far as the space. Well, if this is a house of interest and I missed anything and you want me to check something, uh, you know, I'll be happy to come back and, and do so for you. Um, so I'll quickly check the air handler. I don't think I, I think I missed that in the video in this. I wonder if it's up in the attic. Because there's your, your return. See, your return um, should be. Hmm. Maybe it's in the attic. It's crazy. I, I, when I saw that, I was thinking it would be here in the, in the garage. But nothing, nothing in the garage. My guess is it's in the attic because that's where the return is uh, on that wall. So, appliances are all stainless, they're all uh, Samsung, has everything, washer, dryer, microwave. Alright, well this completes my video for uh, 1102 Meadowcrest Drive, Valrica.